Hey guys, this is Mitch with Fine Point CGI, and today we're going to talk about how to get your mouse position in 3D space inside of Godot. So we're going to go through the process of talking about how ray casting works and how you're going to get your mouse position using ray casting. And then we're going to implement that into a function that we can add to our little character controller to allow us to look around our level. So that's what I have in store for you guys today. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. So the first thing we have to do is we have to kind of investigate our scene here. So this is a scene I have pre-built for this tutorial. And if you guys want this specific scene so you guys can follow along, just go ahead and check out the link in the description below. But basically what we have is the ability to hit left and right and the character moves left and right just like that but he doesn't really follow our mouse cursor, right? He doesn't really look at our mouse cursor at all. So how can we get our mouse position in 3D space? So to do this, you need to fire a raycast from your mouse to your 3D space and hit an object, and then you could determine from there where your mouse is in 3D space. How can we do that? Well, if we close this, and then we go over to our character controller right here. And we come down here, you can see our character process, which is basically just saying, hey, if I hit UI up, down, left or right, I'm going to move up, down, left or right. Simple enough, right? But if I want to look at my mouse position, I can't just say look at and then I try to get my mouse position, which by you can do this by grabbing get viewport dot get mouse position this isn't going to work and the reason why is because we're going to get back a vector two here and even if you just pulled your mouse position and then did x y and did some fancy translation that's not going to give you an actual 3d representation of where your mouse is you'll just get some random arbitrary number of where it is in your viewport if that makes sense now if you want to actually get your proper location of your mouse you need to do ray casting so if we come down here we create a function and we'll call it screen point to ray which if you guys are unity users you'll know that that's a unity function for this specific purpose what we'll do is first we need to get our direct screen space. So we'll say var space state is equal to get world dot direct space state. Okay. And that's going to pull back our, our world's space state. Okay. And then we need to get our mouse position. So we'll say var mouse pause is equal to get viewport dot get mouse position okay and that'll pull back our mouse position and now we need to basically get our camera okay because we need to be able to get our camera to do our raycast so we'll say var camera is equal to get tree root dot get camera and that's going to pull back our camera of our scene and then we need to say where is our ray going to start so ray casts have a beginning point and a end trajectory almost okay and you're basically saying i need to get my origin of where this position is going to be so we'll type var ray origin is equal to camera dot project ray origin and we'll get our screen position, our actual point that we're that we're projecting from, which is our mouse position. Okay. And then we need to get our ray end. Okay. And that's where our ray is going to be projected to. Var ray end is equal to ray origin plus our camera ray normal. So camera dot project ray normal and we need to pass in a, a point in space that is where our, um, it's going to be projecting that ray normal so much like we did up here with our ray origin we're just going to pass in our mouse position 
and then we need to multiply it by a distance value. So in our case, we're going to say 2000. I don't think anything will ever be farther than 2000, but if it ever is, we can definitely, you know, we're good to go here. We can just update this and make it farther. Next, we're when this ray cast happens, it's going to return an array of stuff. So we need to house that data somewhere. So we'll do that by typing var ray array is equal to space state dot intersect ray and we have to give it a vector three and another vector three so we'll just put ray origin comma ray end and that's going to give us our two positions where this ray is going to get fired off to okay now this is actually doing the ray cast here so from here our ray cast has actually been fired and now we need to pull back our position of where that was fired so if we type if ray array dot has position, then we can return ray array quote position. And we're going to want to make sure that we return something. So we'll come down here and type return vector three just like that. And that'll just return a new vector three, just in case for some reason we don't actually hit anything. Now, if we come up to our look at, if we just type screen point to ray comma vector three dot up, you will see that everything should be good to go. So if we hit play, you'll see that our character is now looking in the proper position. So we can move and he will always look at our mouse position. So that's really cool and it works. And if we hover off, it's not gonna crash or anything like that. But the question you might be asking is what comes back when I fire this ray cast? If I come down here and I put a breakpoint right here, you can see kind of what comes back here. If I actually put it right about here, actually, I think that'll be better off. There we go. So now it'll come back with the proper dictionary of things. You can see these are the things that it comes back with. It comes back with your position, your normal, your collider ID, your collider, your shape, and your RID. Okay. Now the position is the position of your mouse point. Normal is the normal of the point that it's being that it hit. So the actual uh, face where it hit the normal position of that. So for instance, if this was at like a 45 degree, this would probably be at like 0.45. So that way, you know, you can tell if it's, if they're on a slope or if they're not on a slope. And then you have this collider here. And the nice thing about this collider, this is the actual object that you collided with. So this is kind of nice if you wanted to pull back a character or an item or something like that. If you're building a a building system you could detect if an object is already there you can say uh, grab my screen point array is there an object inside of this area if there is then don't allow them to spawn an item things like that so that's kind of the nice thing about getting back this so you could basically detect if somebody's clicking on any kind of objects or anything crazy like that so to recap how this works we got our space state we went and got our mouse position. We got our camera. We set our ray origin, which is, was our mouse position, and basically at zero. And then we got our ray end position, which was basically our mouse position times 2000. And then we have our ray array here where we actually did our ray cast and then we got back our position. And then we returned our vector three for our look at. And that's basically how you get your mouse position in 3D in Godot. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hey, if you dislike this video, go ahead and hit that dislike button because I'm here to make content for you guys. This video, as with all of my videos, the viewer suggested video. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to get to them as soon as I can. And hey, if you guys have any questions or comments about this video, Leave in the comments below or hit me up on my Discord. Links in the description. I'll be more than happy to help you out with any issues you might have. But that is all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much again for watching. 
I will see you all next time. Thanks.